bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again. And welcome to French Hot Beer Reviews. Jeff's over there. I'm Jeff. And I'm Scott over here. That's Scott. Mr. Freeze. He's going to put him over there today. Oh, he's going to get confused. Yeah, he will. <laughs> he's simple. He's got a big head, but his brain is like a pea. Right, it's like a turkey or something. It's like a dinosaur brain. The nice beer. Can. Kind of a cool can, actually. It is very cool. No, just it's pretty cool. Yeah. The beer is from White Lion Brewing Company out of Williamsburg, Mass. They have a lion on the can, and it's white. Yes. It's a fly in us. Yeah. This is Lion's Galaxy IPA. Galaxy meaning the hops that are used in this beer. You think? Yes. Okay. Which gives it a tropical and citrus. citrus. Which... Smooth malt profile. Yes. Crushable? Really? Yeah. 7% alcohol, 47 IBUs. The last few reviews we've done have had IBUs listed, which has kind of been not happening lately. Yeah, a lot of them don't. What does happen... Every week is on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We release reviews at 4 p.m. on YouTube. Yes. So you should subscribe and down there, Jeff. And they click the bell. That's a notification button, they call it. Yes. And everywhere else we are found on social media is in the description down below in this video. Yes. Is even our Redbubble store. Yeah. If yes. this is your first time watching, thanks for checking us out. We'd appreciate a like and subscribe. That would be awesome. And we're going to move on with the beer review. Yep. Again, this is uh, White Lion Brewing Company, Lion's Galaxy IPA, 7% alcohol. I really like this label. I know you do. It's blue. Did you notice how the O in the lion is a lion's, lion's tail? That's, tail. That's cute. It's clever yeah. and effective. Unlike yourself. Wow. You're effective, but not clever. I'm, oh. I, I get a point. You up there first. So I'm thinking we're going to enjoy this beer more than the average bear. beer. <laughs> uh, because it says a smooth malt profile and crushable. And I think that's how we kind of got into drinking craft beer was crushable IPAs. We'll see if I'm right. No. There's nothing wrong. I thought I saw no, something. No, I don't have anything. Oh, yeah, I do have little tiny, like one day. Mm-hmm. And they're kind of suspended. Yeah, I got a bunch. Uh, um, a little lighter uh, in color than I thought it would be. It's a from it's, a, you know from the malt profile that it described, I thought it'd be a little, a tad bit darker. The head is holding up unbelievably with uh, microscopic to medium bubbles, and they're hanging around. It smells like something. I just like put my. You know what it smells out. like? Nice. The movie lions, whatever. Movie lions and by stone. Movie. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It smells just like it. I don't know. I'd have to smell it. That's why. Um. Yeah, it it smells malty. A malty, a light malt, malty huh? sweetness. There's definitely some tropical citrus in there, though. Yeah. You can definitely tell there, there is some malt in this stuff. Maybe some stone fruit. Yep. Exactly. It smells good. It smells like a beer that I'm going to enjoy, and I think you will also. We'll see. Let's try this. Whoa. All right. Kind of not what I expected. Not as citrusy as I thought it was going to be, or, or tropical. Perfume-like. Mm -hmm. Flowery, perfumey. Yep. It's not terrible. It's a little uh, thin, maybe. But and that threw me Not off. thin in flavor. Like dandelions. Like, that I've never had. Like bitter flowers. Oh, this this doesn't work for me. It's um, not as good as I had hoped. It smells really good. It smells like a beer that I thought we would both like a lot. And I don't like it a lot. It's sort of average. 
Uh, yeah. Flowery, almost perfume like. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Almost like a Saison IPA kind of mix flavor kind of thing. I'll give it a three six. Yeah, I was I was three five. And I don't even feel great about that. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably both stretch out a little bit. But. Three five five is our score. The untapped average from one thousand two hundred ninety six uh, individual scores is uh, three point six five. So yeah, a very average. Very average IPA. If you, if you like a uh, a flowery type, yeah. If you do like that profile, beer, yeah. then, but, but it, uh, it's not tropical and citrus. No, nope. <laughs> no. There is a little. There is definitely some of that in the aroma, but it is not there. And, and they use a date code. They don't even use. Uh, to be honest with you, even the malt is a little su faded. suppressed yeah. in it. It's it's not kind of out there. Um, yeah, they use a code. They don't use... So White Lion, we, we probably won't be visiting. <laughs> Not if you're in Williamsburg. Wherever. No, we'll check how far that is. But um, It's going to be over an hour. It's going to be out west. We love your labels. Or northwest. Um, yeah, this was Lion's Galaxy IPA, uh, brewed with Galaxy Hops. Um, and it just didn't quite hit the marks for us. Um, Where'd you pick this up? This was at Poor Richard's also in okay. Franklin. I bought a shit ton of beers and we're yeah, still going yeah. through them. Um, and this one, I, I, I definitely grabbed it because of having contact with the brewery. And, um, oh, okay. You know, maybe I'll, I'll look at some of their other stuff and see if some of the stuff scored higher and maybe pick it up. But that's right. the deal for this one. Enjoy your night. Right. And we'll see you next time. Bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by turning on into French hot.